humanoid robots are evolving faster than ever. But what if I told you there's now a humanoid robot that costs less than a smartphone? Meet Bumi, the latest creation from Chinese startup Noetics, and possibly the most affordable humanoid robot ever built. While companies like Figure, Unitree, and Tesla are pushing for high-performance humanoids, Noetix is taking a completely different path, one that focuses on accessibility, affordability, and real-world usability. Bumi is designed not for factories or research labs, but for classrooms, developers, and everyday enthusiasts who want hands-on experience with robotics. Standing just under one meter tall and weighing around 12 kilograms, Bumi is compact, lightweight, and incredibly approachable. It's small enough to fit on a desk, yet advanced enough to perform coordinated movements, recognize voices, and interact with its environment. But the real game changer is its price, around 1300 US dollars. That's cheaper than most flagship smartphones, and a fraction of what traditional humanoid robots cost. So how did Noetix pull this off? They completely re-engineered the design from the ground up. Instead of relying on expensive industrial components, they built their own motors, custom control boards, and used advanced lightweight composites instead of metal. Every detail was optimized to keep performance high while keeping costs low. This kind of innovation doesn't just make robots cheaper. It makes them available to everyone. Imagine a world where students can learn robotics using a real humanoid where creators can build new motion algorithms or voice assistants directly on a robot that looks and moves like a human. That's the vision behind Bumi, and the response has been huge. Within days of launch, the robot reportedly crossed hundreds of pre-orders on Chinese marketplaces. Educators and developers are calling it a breakthrough moment, the democratization of humanoid robotics. Of course, Bumi isn't built to lift heavy loads or perform complex industrial tasks. It's an educational and interactive platform. But that's exactly what makes it exciting. It opens the door for innovation from the ground up. More people experimenting means faster progress for the entire field. We're now seeing two directions emerge in humanoid robotics. On one side, we have athletic machines like the Unitree G1 and the AI-driven goalkeeper robot developed by HKU and Shanghai AI Lab focusing on speed, balance, and agility. And on the other side, we have socially intelligent robots like Bumi, designed for accessibility, emotion, and connection. Together, they're shaping a future where humanoid robots aren't just high-tech marvels. They're part of everyday life. Bumi represents something bigger than just a robot. It's a signal that humanoids are about to leave the labs and enter our homes, classrooms, and creative spaces. It's the beginning of a world where everyone can build, teach, and interact with their own AI companion. So what do you think? Would you bring a humanoid robot home if it cost less than $1,500? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, make sure to subscribe to RoboFrontier for more deep dives into the world of AI robotics and the future that's unfolding right now. Because the revolution in robotics isn't coming someday. It's already here, and it's just getting started.